good morning students today i will tell you about the physical properties of metals okay then first is what's the meaning of the uh, what is the meaning of the word physical properties then physical properties are uh, that can be observed without changing the identity of substances for example color density hardness etc okay let us discuss uh, some of these pro physical property of the metals and non metals in detail and today i will tell you about the metals only then what are these physical properties of metal the first is the physical state second is the strength third is the luster then malleability sonorous conductivity and ductility these are the uh, properties and uh, i will tell you in detail one by one now the first is physical state the first is physical state now see normally uh, metals are solid at room temperature all the metals you will find solid at room temperature except the mercury and gallium these two are liquid at room temperature okay then next is the strength next property is strength normally metals are hard and solid hard and solid but uh, there are two metals which are the exceptions one is sodium second is a potassium sodium and potassium both are soft metal even they are uh, they are soft as much they can be cut by the knife also getting we can cut sodium and potassium metals with the help of knife what is the formula of uh, sodium sodium is called na the formula uh, we can say symbol of uh, sodium is na and symbol of potassium is uh, k these both the metal can be cut with the help of knife and mercury and sodium uh, mercury sodium and potassium it means these two are the exception now why mercury uh, it is liquid at room temperature mercury is liquid at room temperature so it is not hard then sodium and potassium i told you earlier you can cut with the help of knife then these three are the exception okay now uh, some example of metals are iron uh, iron copper gold aluminum silver calcium and these are also mercury sodium potassium and uh, gallium these uh, are some metal okay okay now next is luster the word luster means shine luster means shine it means the uh, uh, the property of being shiny and reflect uh, and also it reflect the light and you know, the reflecting light is called luster this is the reason that uh, that's why uh, these metals are used in making the jewelry and statue the next is malleability next is malleability what is malleability the property of metal or we can say the property by virtue of which metal can be beaten into the sheets metal can be converted into the sheets the property is called malleability we use aluminum foil to pack the uh, you can see in this diagram also this is used to pack the uh, food jewelry designers create number of the design in the bangles chains bracelets using this property only almost all the metals are malleable gold and silver are considered to be the most malleable metal getting gold and silver uh, is considered as a most malleable metal now next ductility next is ductility what is ductility it is uh, the property by which metal can be drawn into the wire they can be converted into the wire it means they can be stressed this property is called ductility uh, metal like the copper silver aluminum they can be easily drawn into the wires okay then next is conductivity what's the meaning of conductivity conductivity means metals are the good conductor of heat and electricity they all are the good conductor of heat and electricity this property is called conductivity 
it means heat and uh, light both can be passed through them is it okay now see the next one the last is sonorous this uh, what's the meaning of this word sonorous 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 means metal can produce the ringing sound when the metal uh, metal produce a ringing sound when they are struck therefore they are said to be the sonorous example i can give you uh, you must have heard about the uh, bells uh, sorry uh, bell yes bell in temples what are they made of the bells are made up of uh, metals sometimes they may be of uh, alloy and mostly they are made up of brass you know brass brass is the combination of it is the alloy combination of copper and zinc then when the uh, then that bell is struck with the this uh, hanging bob like structure then it produces a ringing sound and all the metal have that type of ringing sound that's why uh, uh, they are called sonorous is it okay then uh, enough for today and uh, next time i will tell you about the non metals